For nearly 20 years now, the episode Semis and Ebel Wars has been a fan favourite episode for many people who have watched the 2003 TMT and series. But one question has always come up when watching this episode, which is what happened to Donny? And another one which still comes up a little bit is what could have happened to make all this happen? Well, in today's video, we're going to be looking at some reasons why this episode why this could have all happened and come up with a reason that is good enough to explain it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get this one, let's go! And before we do get started, if you do like this content and want to see more from this channel, please do make sure to subscribe, like and turn on post notifications. Now let's get on with the video. So the main thing that people like to come up with to answer this question is that it all happened in Exodus. Now, there are many point of rules of Tom being blown up a bit earlier, causing him and Leatherhead to get killed as well. Now, this theory could work, as it would explain how in that world came to be, we should have been able to leave as well. Now, I do think that this could be the main reason or cause for what happened, as most of the evidence can be explained for this episode. Now, for me personally, I don't think it was the explosion that killed him, other than it was this good agent who somehow just walked around the headquarters without being seen. Where the f are you? You know, let's just put a pause right here because my question is, and the one by already answering, is who the hell is he and why is he so good? I guess we'll never know, but he seems way more interesting right now than Donny died and how Donny died. I'll get back to a main question that was just one way he could have died. Well, yeah, there are many other ways that like he could have got himself killed or the reason why he, he left. So I'll quickly go over a few. I mean, there are loads of these, but like. This could be like the main ones if you want to classify them because even though we didn't get to see what happened off screen I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go with the reasons that happened on screen so let's go and look at them Now one way which I don't think people will like, disagree with mo mainly just because it's fast forward but like what if the general was actually correct and Dodie was able to explore space again before he got killed This could explain why Surly has an attitude towards his holes or some of like that. I know it's a darker theory, but this one has some problems like but people will know who, about the Utrons as well as Shredder's revenge. As I don't think it would have been that long before Shredder would have tapped the ship. So while I do think it has some reasoning behind it for being the main reason, there is some things that go against it for being like a very unlikely possibility. Now another reason could be they, gone, they could have gone on the ground to see the monsters. But the reason why I think this could be not the reason is because when he goes down there, he's always told them just due to all the dangers that went um, that always happened down there every time they're down there. Also, another reason why is that they had to take the tunnel down to the like monster area. But if you've seen Samus and Ever Wars, you've seen about tunnel uh, tunnels in there in pretty good shape. So this one is all cancelled out unless Tony found like another way to get down there. But I have think this one is a really un unlikely one, just for a few other reasons and all that stuff. Now, a little bit of a weird one, but, well, Leonardo went to train with the Ancient One in Season 4. Um, but what if Leo didn't go train with him? What if it was Donny? Because he's always been the weakest turtle in terms of fighting. I mean, just look at that battle Nexus. He was the first one to be eliminated. So, I do think this is like a good enough reason to explain it. They went on the trip to go uh, to Dangemon to explore and become a better fighter. Which, like, this whole story has been like explored on other versions of Turtles. So I don't see why this one wouldn't, or this story wouldn't just, uh, fit this version any differently. But, you know, there's always got to be one problem. Like, Donnie would know about the uh, dudes from Shredder invading Earth and all that. So why wouldn't he go back and actually stop it? That's my only one problem with this, but. It could work. A sort of different one, but if you look at the um, Triceraton invasion when the Triceraton was looking through his memories, um, to find the future to it, Dontello was trying to like withstand this and you know just try not to get himself killed and get Spencer's help with it. And if he didn't get Spencer's help, he would have died. But then again, what if he didn't get the help? And what if he did die? So there is that possibility. Now in the episode they do say that um, Donnie left him and abandoned him and all that but the Turtles actually know where he was, he didn't abandon him, he was taken so that's a little bit of a different way 
it could be what the wave of tools is trying to get over it and give up their reasoning for it and it's sort of like a coping me mechanism but for tools i don't see that happening just because they know what happened to him and they could easily go after him to try to tell and get revenge and stuff like that now an even darker theory which i really don't want it to be true just because of it how it's so dark but what if he never came back from the future now there are a few different reasons for this like one reason that he because Dante was caught in a time loop which only makes this episode darker as no one should ever have like a 50 50 chance of seeing their whole family die another reason is that he could be down to the fact that he died in the final confrontation against Shredder which um yeah well uh, let's well this is not the first time that Donnie's died but another theory is that he didn't want to leave the world I mean this could be because he wanted to help out this world and get back to its former glory um well to the real form of glory or he wants to find that world's Donatello or something like that he could want to stay for different reasons and if that's the case then I don't really exactly blame him and it would it would exactly make the whole abandoned Donny thing make sense but how would they know about it also even though the Tolls don't know where exactly Donatello is they would know that he didn't abandon them or leave him they just know that he was teleported away and don't know exactly know where. But then in the season 3 episode uh, 17, Time Travelers, when it uh, comes to our time and says this. Totally! It shows times where eggs happen. Eggs? Uh, like omelets? No, silly! E-G-S! Events of great significance. Sometimes it's a bummer because everyone is like about to be horribly destroyed and stuff, but you guys seem okay. Horribly destroyed and stuff? Is it just me, or are you guys getting a feeling of impending doom? So, yeah, this will cancel out the theory of the Triceratons getting him, or, you know, that could have taken place later in the timeline. Or, you know, it might not even be talking about Donnie's death at all. It might be talking about Shrell being defeated for once and for all, or the Demon Shredder coming. There are different ways you can interpret this little line, but it's a very important line for, well, the future. Okay, so now I'm going to be honest with you about this whole question we have. Now, to be honest, the real answer to this question is that there is no real answer. Now, the reason for it is just because we can keep going on about, oh, what if this happened? What if this happened? This could have happened. You know, it's never going to be an exact, an exact answer, as there could be multiple things leading up to this event. And it's sad to say, it, uh, say this, but without an exact point, we can say, well, say that it was this, we'll never know for sure. And with an ever-expanded um, multiverse, there could have been multiple different things that happened in this world that never happens in ours. So, you can basically make up whatever theory you want and it will still be correct, as, well, you know, in your eyes, it is canon. And in my eyes, for a different theory, that's canon, because we'll never truly know the answer. Now, I can never see, or I can in the future, I can't actually see Nickelodeon or them ever bring up this episode again, or the whole topic, or even ever mention how this actually happened. So, whatever like theory or canon thing you want to go with, just go with it. I mean, there is no real answer for it. It's sad to say it, but there is no definitive answer. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. In the future, we might get a actual definitive answer. But yeah. With this very sad and depressing video coming to an end, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. If you do, if you do like one, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Good, bye, yo, bye.